Not exactly high entertainment, but it should be good for a laugh. Oh, I don't know. Never underestimate Eric. <laughs> Stefan is right. He's been known to pull more than one rabbit out of a hat. Uh, according to Ion Fashion. Oh, Ion Fashion, please. That's Bill Spencer's propaganda piece. He will say anything to bring that company down because he wants to own it. Bill. Hmm. Katie, wow. Look at you. You look beautiful. Is that a Forrester design? We need to talk. Sure. Uh, you know, Stephen Wacker, one of my reporters. Miss Logan. Uh, of course. Hi, Stephen. Uh, do you mind if we have a little privacy? Give me a minute. What's up? Wacker is one of your hatchet men. He's never been kind to us. He calls him as he sees him. I just hope that you can report this fairly. Sugarcoat. No, no, I think you should be objective. I'm just not sure you know what that means, because he doesn't. He'll do what needs to be done. In other words, you're going to undermine Forrester, so you can get Eric to sell to you, Bill. Eric's never going to sell to you or anyone else. Katie, Eric is in a financial crisis. At some point, he'll be forced. I know it's cliche, but you're even more beautiful when you're angry. Michael, I didn't expect to see you here today. The bank is watching your show very closely, Eric. Well, I think the bank is going to be very happy with what they see. <laughs> For your sake, I hope so. All right, look, I, uh, I'm very, very busy if there's nothing else. Uh... Look, we feel you should close down some of your retail stores. Oh, no, Michael, I, this is hardly the time for us to be talking. Then let's set up a meeting. No. I'm not going to close down any of the shops. Not after the show. I'm not going to have to. I hope not. So, what are they working on up there, Rocco? That one there, Pam? Yeah. Oh, that's the uh, the rigging for this this gold confetti. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. When Donna comes out wearing the showstopper, right? We let it loose, and then whoosh, she gonna let them in. And look who's here! If it isn't Eric's little trophy wife. <laughs> Bitter, just like your sister. But, you know, it doesn't bother me. I, I actually kind of like the sound of it. So, has anyone seen my honey bear? Uh, no, not me. Maybe he's hibernating. It's summer, Pam. What? You're funny. I gotta get back to work, okay? Thank you, Rocco. Okay. You want your honey bear? You get your honey bear. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Looking for someone, Pussycat? How did you get in here? My magazine is covering the show. Oh, well, in that case, uh, pay special attention to the showstopper. Hmm? Because I'll be modeling it. Hmm, really? Well... And I will only have eyes for you. I'm talking about the dress, though. When are you going to accept the fact that Eric and I are totally devoted to each other and nothing is going to change that? Nah, success is attractive. Failure, on Trust the other me, hand. Trust me, this show is going to be a complete success. Huh, we'll see. In the meantime, tick tock, tick tock. The clock is ticking on Forrester Creations and your marriage, I suspect. Now, you better get out while I'm still available. I won't always be, you know. Oh, you are just breaking my heart. How will I ever survive knowing you're not available? Enjoy the show. Oh, Mr. Howard, so nice to see you. Enjoy the show. Thank you. You're welcome. Mr. Pensuolo. And Hollow. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. I thought that's what I said. It's not. Oh, well, enjoy the show. Um, Pam, could you please show Mr. Penhollow to a seat and put him in the front row? Thank you. You're welcome. Hello, Mrs. Forrester. Jared. Oh, my God, you are going to love this collection. I mean, my husband's a genius. <laughs> 
He is going to prove it again today. Yes, yes. Uh, do, do you have any response to the critics who say that Eric's out on a limb, that he uh, desperately needs a smashing success? Well, the only response to that is to show the critics a smashing success, which we're about to do. He's gotten himself into quite a situation. Yes, so. Uh, a very sticky situation. <laughs> Hi, everybody, and welcome. Welcome to Forrester Creations. Thank you for being here. Um, I'd like to start today with a small reference to Mark Twain by saying uh, rumors of my demise have been greatly exaggerated. <laughs> I want to assure you that Forrester Creations is still a family business, and we're dedicated to style and class and elegance as always. And to that end, on behalf of myself and my wife Donna and my sons Ridge and Rick, I want to introduce to you Forrester's new classic line. With this collection, every woman's dream turns to gold. Certainly hasn't lost his touch, has he? Hello? Scout! Are you watching the fashion show? Uh, yes, 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 I am. Look, I just want to make sure you don't miss the finale. It is going to be one sweet moment. Well, I'd like to go back to watch it. I'll call you later. stuff there. Your father's outdone himself, Bridget. Are we concerned? No. No, we don't need to be concerned. Everything's fine. That's a relief coming from our head designer. Who comes from very good bloodlines. than I thought. It's been a I hoped it would be. Oh, come on, guys. Dad has time. We know that. Let's let him have his day. And we'll get to have ours. Well, he's got some classy stuff. This is bumming me out. Turn it off. No, I want to see that showstopper.
trophy wife, Eric. <laughs>